The method of problem solving we're going to look at today is called Eliminate Possibilities. Penny's Dimes Penny's favorite coin is the dime. She collects them, but doesn't know how many she has right now. She knows she has less than a hundred, though. One day she was arranging them on her desk in different ways. She found that when she put them into piles of two, there was one left over. When she put them into piles of three, there was one left over. And the same thing happened when she put them into piles of four. She then tried putting them in piles of five, and found that there were none left over. How many dimes does Penny have? Oh, and by the way, there is more than one correct answer. As always, we reread the problem and highlight the key ideas. So the first thing that we read that is important is she has less than a hundred dimes. We also know that when she put them into piles of two, there was one left over. That tells us there's going to be a remainder of one. When she puts them in piles of three, there was one left over. Also, there was one left over when she put them in piles of four. Once she put them in piles of five, she discovered that there were none left over. That's important as well. Finally, we always review what the question is asking, and here we need to determine how many dimes Penny has. So we get, begin by creating a list, a list of all the possible numbers and clues that we have. The first clue that we received is that if she puts them in piles of two, there's one left over. That means it's going to be a number divisible by two with a remainder of one. When she put them in piles of three, there's also one left over. So if we divide it by three, there's going to be a remainder of one. Same thing for fours. If we divide it by four, there's going to be a remainder of one. In piles of five, remember that there were none left over. So if we divide it by five, the remainder is going to be zero. We also know that her number is less than a hundred. So here are all of our key ideas. Let's see what we gather from these. If we divide it by two and have a remainder of one, that tells us it's going to be an odd number. Divisible by three with a remainder of one, divisible by four with a remainder of one, those we're probably going to have to do the math later. Divisible of five with a remainder of zero, we know that her number is divisible by five. So we're probably going to begin by making our list numbers that are divisible by five. And remember that we're only going to be looking at the odd numbers divisible by five. So we begin with five. The next number would be ten, although remember that's not odd, so we skip over ten and we go to fifteen. Then twenty, but that's not odd, so we go to twenty-five. Notice the pattern. So I'm going to continue my list, keeping in mind that the number of dimes she has is less than 100. So I'm creating my list, and I'm going to stop at 95. With this list, we've used that clue, this clue, and this clue. Now we need to look at a different clue to use. We do know that the divisibility rules of three is fairly easy because you need to add the digits together and if the sum is divisible by three then the number is divisible th by three. Divisibility by four is a little bit harder. So let's start with the divisibility rules of three. We need to determine if a number is divisible by three with a remainder of one. Three goes into five once with two left over. Remainder of two, that's going to cancel that number out or eliminate it. 3 goes into 15 exactly 5 times with no remainder. Cancel that out. 3 goes into 25 8 times with a remainder of 1. That's a possible number. 3 goes into 35 11 times with a remainder of 2. That won't work. 3 goes into 45 exactly 15 times, so there's no remainder. We can cross that one off. If you look at our remainders at this point, we've got a pattern. Remainder of 2, remainder of 0, remainder of 1. Remainder of 2, remainder of 0. We can assume that this will be a remainder of 1. Remainder of 2 cancels that out. Remainder of 0 eliminates that number. Remainder of 1. And remainder of 2 that eliminates that number. We're now down to our final clue 
which is divisible by 4 with a remainder of 1. And at this point it's might, it might just be easier to do the math. So I take 25, divide it by 4. 4 goes into 25 6 times with 1 left over. That meets our goal of having a remainder of 1. So we know that 25 is one of the numbers, but remember we know that there's more than one correct answer, so we must check the rest. So we move on to 55 divided by 4. 4 goes into 55, starting with a 1 there. 1 left over, we bring down our 5. 4 goes into 15 3 times. That's 12. That's 3 left over, a remainder of 3. That eliminates the number 55, because it does not have a remainder of 1. And finally with 85, 4 goes into 8 2 times. With 0 left over, we bring down the 5. 4 goes into 5 once. And here we have a remainder of 1. So 85 is another answer. Remember that before you submit your answer, you must summarize it. So we could say that Penny has either 25 or 85 dimes. Remember to box your answer so that it's easy for me to identify where it is on your paper.